Now yeah, good day down under here. Today what we're going to do, you can see here, pale boiled linseed oil, also known as pale boiled oil. Um, it's a linseed oil which has got an additive into it, so when it dries, it actually dries hard and it dries pretty quickly. So what we've got here is this is a base that I've just pulled out of the shed. So you can see the actual condition on it is really, really... It, it's, it's pretty solid and pretty strong looking, but the actual coating on it is um, pretty deteriorated. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use double O steel wool where we normally use triple O. And I just want you to show you how it comes up just with an initial once over. So we won't use a lot of this. You can see marks like this just with the steel wool just come out. We like pale boiled oil because if you scratch it, it's only a matter of just going back over it with the oil and some steel wool and you'll just fill that hole. Where if you've um, used a lacquer or a two pack or an ester pole or a French polish, once you've done that, you've virtually got to take it back and redo it. So this is not only is it very easy to put on, also if you damage it, it's very easy to mask or um, redo. So you can see this here, this is just a bit of burn mark which has been on it. So if you can see here, this area here, that's some old shellac. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into it. You can see how that old shellac is just lifting. And it all comes down to how well do you really want to do this. So because we deal with displaying antique cabinets and the like, we don't have an objection to sort of have the used or the, the lived in look. We quite like it looking a little bit rustic. Let's face it, this base here, I'd say is probably 40, 50 years old. It's an industrial base. You know, up here, you can even see where I've put some pencil across there. There we go, it's all gone. The pencil gone. So again, this is just an initial attempt just to see how it comes up. Um, I personally, as you converted now absolutely love the versatility and the ease at which this pale boiled oil can go on and what it's done there even already just in this short little area it's short time it's actually come up exceptionally well you can probably see there's no glistening there and that means that this table is so hungry that it's just taking in so much of the oil and that's good because it's conditioning internally as well so I have no objections to any 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 timber let alone sewing machine cabinet that has been out in the weather or has had that total shellac treatment that this has had this is an actual really really simple easy straightforward reliable method and the beauty of it is being oil based once it's dried if you want to put a nester pole on it or something like that you can actually do that so you've taken this whole journey with me from just the first 
first attempt. So it doesn't hurt and if you don't like the actual finish with this, if we did three or four coats on this, this would come up like a, um, a semi-gloss. So I personally don't think that's too offensive at all. But it's simple and easy. So again it's up to yourself. And thank you for your time and I hope this has helped you. It can save you a lot of time. See you later from Down Under.